Hello everyone, I'm Michael Thompson, executive producer of Reset. We just had a wonderful time in Los Angeles, California at the NBA 2011 All-Star Weekend where we had an opportunity to meet and mingle with some of the biggest names in the sport of basketball. What a great situation we were in as a show to mingle with some of these individuals who pioneered the game of basketball. And literally, the concept of Reset, they all gravitated to. They loved it. As a matter of fact, they're anxious to be a part of it, which was meaningful to me and the team as we came up with this idea barely six months ago. And to be where we are right now is incredible. The interviews that we had, something that we'll continue to show you a little more of, the interviews that we had were incredible. As a matter of fact, one in particular that stood out uh, with me is one with Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins, where he talked a little bit about his experience as an NBA player and how he had an opportunity to play and make money and do all the things necessary to win. So check it out as we go into a little bit of that video clip. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um... I think I'd be a great mentor because uh, I think I'm great at everything sometimes. sometimes. Uh, but uh, to tell kids, uh, I'm one of the guys that didn't go uh, to college, came directly from high school into the NBA, one of 11 kids who didn't have much at all to having everything. Uh, I think I could show them all the different ins and outs that I went through of uh, divorces, uh, you fall on a hard time, agents take money. And the show is great because it'll teach them how to reset their lives, get them back to being a normal person, functioning, working, and taking care of their family. What a great interview we had with Daryl Dawkins, Chocolate Thunder. Let me tell you, that guy's full of energy and emotion. He is in, incredible. But I tell you what, we had another interview. And I'll tell you, this interview was an interview that we almost had to cut the cameras off because of the emotion that came from this, the story from this individual. His name is Mr. Jerry Chambers. Now he's also a legend in basketball, a pioneer in basketball. But when you hear his story, we all know about the athletic accomplishments, we all know about the, the professional sports career, but when you hear about the personal circumstance that this individual had to go through, had to endure, let me tell you, it was difficult for me even to sit there and finish the interview. So as we go into a little bit of this clip, just listen to what he had to say. It's an incredible emotional interview. He took me to his game, actually, and he was playing. And my son collapsed right on the floor and died in front of me. And my whole life changed from there because virtually I, I was by myself. When I got traded to Atlanta Hawks six months after my son was born, my wife passed away. So 13 years later, I'm at a basketball game watching my son play, and he drops right there. And uh, so, you can understand, my life changed from one time being a guy trying to be an actor or whatever I'm trying to do in life. It just changed my whole thing around. I almost died. I was going to the hospital and the guy told me that there's nothing wrong with you. And I said, well, I feel, he said, but you, he said, he didn't know anything about the tragedy in my life. So he said, uh, did you have something happen or what? I said, yeah, my son passed away. He said, well, you know what's wrong? And you got a broken heart. So basically, I, I, I kind of came to the agreement of praying and everything like that. Sure. That God took my kid away and gave me a whole bunch of other kids. Right. And right. I got kids that are now going to Harvard. Kids came to my program who are at UNLV, all colleges around the country. Sure. And I was telling Ollie early that I got to go to about 15 basketball games all next week because all my kids, uh, I got to support them. They all playing high school ball and they playing for the playoffs now. So I think that was the biggest part of my life. Ball was great. Um, I, I feel like I accomplished a lot playing ball, but after that, tra after what happened, I just my life, you know, ball wasn't the most important thing anymore. Anyway. It was all about the kids. Man. Wow, what an incredible interview. For those of you who are parents out there, you can imagine what it would feel like to watch your child pass away right before you. I almost get choked up thinking about it. But I tell you what, we look at these individuals, we look at these players, and we look at the lifestyle that they live, and we have to understand and realize that they're people too. And they go through things, situations, especially one like this, 
that how in the world does someone bounce back from that? How do you recover from that? And I'll tell you, I am absolutely, absolutely touched by this story. You must finish watching the completed interview with uh, Jerry Chambers. What an incredible story. And uh, as we move on, you know, we're, we were so delighted to have also Mr. Spencer Hayward, who is a legend within himself, an absolute superstar in the league, an absolute pioneer for the game of basketball. And he's helped so many other up-and-coming players, not just through basketball, but all throughout all sports. Uh, Spencer Hayward is certainly someone who is an, an unbelievable force in the world of sports and uh, his interview is incredible and uh, I want to give you a clip of that and you have an opportunity to see who Spencer Haywood is and, and what he's all about. It was my pleasure to interview Spencer Haywood. But if you want to talk about adversity and so on, so let me just go to another stage in my life. Yeah. In 1980, I got high, I got high off cocaine mm -hmm. and from that point I had a downfall, mm -hmm. but it was a downfall to some degree but then grace of God, I was able to pick myself up and move forward, and I have 26 years of sobriety today That's what I enjoy, sure. but anyone can do it because it is a part of life. If you, if you make the wrong step, there's a path to happiness, but it's going to be through God of your choice. It might be Islam, you might be Christian, you might have whatever it is. Sure. It is back to the right force, and if you're, if you're an agnostic or whatever, mm -hmm. an atheist, I mean, you can find it again because you can believe in yourself or whatever you think there is out there in the universe. Sure. So it's a good thing. It is. Yeah. See, that's powerful. What I appreciate about you and your story is that not only were you a player, mm -hmm. uh, an excellent player, of course, legendary player, but you were also a pioneer. Mm -hmm. And one thing about that is so powerful is that you kind of...